Welcome back to the channel. Today is something a little bit different. It's not directly homestead related, but at the same time, it is homestead related. Today, I want to show you some vintage finds I found garage sailing recently. Now the argument could be made, I didn't really need any of this stuff, but at the same time, I'd been looking for this stuff, but I wanted a deal. I didn't want to buy it brand new. I didn't want to pay for the amount that it was brand new. And it just made more sense that if I found it in a thrift store, which I haven't been to for a while. So if I found it in a thrift store, a garage sale, or what have you for the right price, So let's, let's take a look at what I got. So first off, I feel a little Elliott Homestead Farmhouse Vernacular <laughs> uh, page at Farmhouse Vernacular in this one, but they are vintage brass um, candle holders. Why did I forget the name? I totally, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, it just, it has the square bottom and this one's just nice and tall and they're heavy. So you know that they are just quality and a little more vintage. And then there's this little nugget, it's just a short little one, but it has, I don't know if the person who had these bought them at a consignment store locally or if they um, like a family member had bought them a long time ago and just never used them and then this is the last one I just like this detail right here now this one is a round bottom but it's the three and I'd love to get some um, beeswax candles and like set this one on the dining room table that would be beautiful just on the dining room table next to like some flowers um, with some beeswax candles now this one I want to say it was 50 cents okay I think I'd say that's a good deal this one the price tag on it is a dollar fifty it was a quarter uh, and it, I mean it was used there's some wax on it but just a little a little shine a little spiff up if you will will do wonders for these and this one also says a dollar fifty but this one was also a quarter so literally these four were one dollar just needs a little little TLC a little love much like a lot of things that Andy and I take on in our lives as far as homesteading <laughs> all right so the next piece you might think really why but I'm just going to say they don't there's just there's not quality like they used to be made but it is a stainless steel pot it's just just a pot it's Duncan Hines brand I guess I didn't realize that Duncan Hines ever made pots but the handles are I don't even know what it's made out of, but they're just, it is steel. It's stainless steel and it's three ply. So I've already used it several times. It just, it cleans up so nicely and it cooks so nicely. I just, it was a dollar. Okay. You cannot buy stainless steel cookware for a dollar. Right, so that's another one. Next, this one you might also think, why? Why? Okay, let me let me just preface this with I have a thing for you can never have too many bowls. Never have too many bowls because you need them for all sorts of things. I have stainless steel bowls, I have ceramic bowls, I have porcelain bowls, I have wood bowls, I have decorative bowls. <laughs> I have bread bowls. There are, I have bowls, okay? My family will tell you I have an issue with acquiring bowls. 
it's just this is it's a glass one and it's like a brownish green that you can see through but it's pyrex it, could you hear me <laughs> it's pyrex and you can use it pyrex you can use in the oven and how do you go wrong with a pyrex a big glass pyrex bowl perfect for making bread it's it's that like i can put it on my head that's how big it is it's just look at how big it's just a big bowl a big glass bowl i don't have a glass bowl the size and how do you go wrong also just based on um If you can't tell, it, it's obviously older. I mean, you could say it's probably from the 90s, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked anything up on any of this stuff. I'm just telling you what I got. What the? So we're up to $3 now. Pretty insane, isn't it? Next. We have some tablecloths. Yes, I have a wood table. But yes, I have kids. And to me, tablecloths are a nice way to just throw it down for when you have people come over because we, we entertain and most of the people we invite over also have kids. What an easier way to just kind of pick up after the kids are there than to just the tablecloth, take it outside, shake it off and throw it in the washing machine. Am I right? Our table can get up to nine feet long. With It has three leaves that are all 18 inches a piece. Without any of the leaves, it is six feet long. So it is a long table. You need big tablecloths for long tables. Do you know how much those tablecloths are? And I am not spending that kind of money on a tablecloth that kids are going to likely end up ruining with stains and food and stuff that you're not gonna get out for whatever reason. So guess what? I found two tablecloths, a dollar each. This one is, I, what, are, what was this one like? I think this one goes up to 90 inches. And this one is, I think 60 inches. So this one is just a nice green. It complements the colors in our kitchen really well. Um, and it is rectangular in length. It was just a dollar. It's not, it's just a nice thin material. It's fine. Gets the job done. Now this one is more of like a blanket. It's a kind of a royal blue and a white knit. And it's got some fringe right here. And it's two-sided. So those were a dollar each. So what are we up to now? We're up to $5. Next, you might wonder, that that's what it's gonna be. You're not gonna have any words and you're just gonna look at it and be like, what? Um, hello, cute, vintage corningware casserole dip dish that's in like perfect condition um and those flowers although so I think historically speaking Corning Ware and Pyrex were the same company don't quote me on that I just think because this says Corning Ware this says Pyrex but they go they go together but just look at those flowers on it. They almost look like they were hand painted. I know that's not the case. They were screen printed. But how great is this to do dips in for entertaining or a little date night dinner that you don't want leftovers for? I don't know. I'll take her. I'll take it. I believe this was $2. You can't get something like this for two dollars. 
last, the last piece. This one is probably going to be the one that makes the most sense or the second most sense behind the tablecloths or third most sense behind the table, behind the pot and the tablecloths. I don't know. It is a vintage Pyrex casserole dish. Now it's it's thinner, that's okay with me. But it has the lid and it has this very pretty blue detail. And this was $2. Which brings our total to $9 for this stuff. I don't, you just, I've already used this a couple of times as well. But you, it doesn't stain, it doesn't, I don't, they must make this stuff out of magic. I have no idea, but I really like it. And you cannot buy these for $2. Even at thrift stores near around me, Savers, Goodwill. Um, yeah, I think that's all we have now. But they're not even $2 there. Uh, so when I saw it for $2, I was like... And, you know, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, stuff like that, they're not even $2 before shipping and tax. So I call that a win. So I would say that was a pretty successful day when I went garage sailing. First of all, not even knowing that the town near me had garage sales going on. Two, finding some of the stuff that I did. And three, for the price that I did. So that was pretty awesome. And it's all stuff that I will use heavily. I mean, you can make the argument that I won't with the uh, candle holders, but trust me. I will be using those. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since I've done sort of a thrifting-ish haul situation. Something I enjoy, but obviously haven't been able to really do for a while. Um, but if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here or haven't yet, please make sure that you subscribe uh, for more videos like this and just what we have going on on the homestead and what we have coming up. See you later.